Hi, this video is going to show you how you can download replays of ESPN Plus events using YouTube DL. I previously uh, did a video showing how you could download um, and save ESPN Plus events using Streamlink, but there was a uh, person who watched one of my videos and actually wrote an email to me um, sharing how he downloads ESPN Plus events using YouTube DL. And the whole, uh, basically the whole way it works is um, there's a tag you can put in the command line for YouTube DL which allows you to add in the authorization key that you need in order to download uh, ESPN Plus events that you don't need for say regular ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU and so on uh, events. So as an example, um, I've got browser window open with, uh, and I've already navigated to the Watch ESPN homepage. I went to Schedule and Replays, and let's see, I'm going to just pick ESPN Plus just to filter those events. And I also have two things open. I have a command prompt open, which you just type CMD and then hit Enter. And then I've navigated to the directory where I have installed YouTube DL. That's where I'm going to paste the YouTube DL uh, command prompt once I grab the M3U8 file and the authorization key. And the other thing I have open is a basically a blank notepad. It just has the like YouTube DL command line in it. And there's two things I'm going to paste in here. The M3U8 file is going to go right in here in between the first set of quotation marks. And then the second, uh, the authorization key, I'm going to have to copy and put in <coughs> inside these quotation marks right here. Okay, so just before we get started, I'm also going to go ahead and go to Tools and open web developer tools. I mean, this is basically uh, the same thing whether you're using Firefox or Chrome or whatever browser you're using. I need to bring that up and then <clears throat> I'm going to type M3U8 in here. So I'm going to choose uh, this, just whatever, this college baseball game that happened earlier today. And so what happens is first the event loads and you should see several M3U8 uh, files down here. Okay, so I usually just pick the this master desktop complete one. So I right click on it, copy the URL, go to my notepad, paste that in here. Now I go back to this little filter box and I type in dust because that is what I need in order to get the authorization key. And it does take some time, usually takes about up to 30 seconds. Um, for it to appear. Okay, so now it's finally appeared. So I believe it's usually the second one here which has the uh, post listed under the method. I'll scroll down over here on the right. What I'm looking for right here is where it says authorization and then it's got all these characters after it. Okay, usually starts with EY something. So I'll go ahead, copy this. Now I'm going to paste this right in here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to make sure that there is no space between the colon and the start of this and the start of the actual key itself. So I'll just backspace it. Now if I take that whole thing, copy it, go to my command prompt, right click, paste it, and then hit enter. should start downloading. Okay, so as you can see it appears this file uh, is quite large. So I guess this event, this baseball game that's downloading, uh, went for quite a while earlier today. So I'm going to let it download and obviously I will cut out all this uh, wasted time in the middle and then you know, I'll just skip ahead to the very end once it's downloaded and then just basically at that point you just have to open the file and just play it just to show you that it grabbed the full event uh, with audio and video and everything working.
the video has now finished downloading so uh, all that's left to do is just to go ahead and play it confirm it downloaded the uh, full audio full video file you know along with the audio and everything plays correctly so now I'm gonna go ahead and just open the video okay there's all this black part at the start but that actually was in the uh, video we downloaded and so you can see we jump ahead now it does look like <clears throat> it downloaded the full game and I'll just turn the audio on here uh, real quick as a matter of fact in May of a little long shot have come it's a spectacle would be to try to all the kicked up the line this one was just foggy that's okay so again uh, this is just a video that shows you how you can use YouTube DL to download replays of events from ESPN plus very similar to using YouTube DL to download events uh, from other you know ESPN sites um, or other websites the only difference is in the command, uh, the YouTube DL command line, in addition to pasting the M3U8 file, you also need to paste the authorization, the words basically authorization, and then a colon, and then the authorization key, uh, which you can copy from the, uh, basically by typing in dust into the filter box um, when the file's playing, and just in front of that it's going to be two dashes then add then a single dash then header once you have those two pieces of, uh, those two pieces of information then you can go ahead run the command and it should download uh, the entire replay